Hey coach, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. We love those. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to become a better coach in a less than a dollar a day, you can, you can do that. My mentor, my personal email address, I will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head back to the video. <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. Coach, hey coach, how are you? Good. If you hear dogs walking around, I'm sorry, but they seem like they're going to fall through the ceiling of my studio I do actually right now. hear that. I, know. I mean, now that you say that, I it's heard a good, like, I, those are the dogs. They're upstairs. Yeah, okay. They must yeah. be playing with mom or something. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. All right. Before we jump into today's topic, this podcast is brought to you by... Game Changer. It is. And we appreciate uh, we appreciate what Game Changer is doing for coaches and, and parents and um, if you haven't heard of Game Changer, first off, go to gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. Again, gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. Okay, so, so 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 side note, forward slash mm -hmm. is the one that goes from the bottom left to the upper right. The upper right. So, yeah, right. it's by the question mark on my I'm looking at my keyboard. <laughs> I'm just I always confuses me when people oh, say yeah, so it's, it's you know it's geese, gc dot game changer dot com and then it's the slash that starts bottom left upper right that's right <laughs> now, usually um, in the question mark by the question mark and then yeah. uh coaching youth hoops okay go ahead i'm sorry oh no no uh but with game changer i i started using it uh about a month ago and i absolutely love it uh tracks your stats for your games great for um you know youth teams specifically one because it's free like free um you can stream games live uh and so if your you know grandma can't make it to a game she can watch uh, uh she can watch the game live and uh, you said you had a parent do that the other day yeah and they were actually a, a parent uh they they were on vacation they missed our game and they were watching the game unfold well, i don't even know where they went but they were they got so excited about the fact that they could watch uh their daughter could watch her teammates play and see the stats come it's the in split and, parent and, not split parents yeah. like necessarily not together but it's like yeah. i would my my wife was taking my daughter or my son and i was somewhere right. else you could just get it on your phone and watch it i mean that's the best part yeah. you know they're in practice they're in ballet practice they're taking guitar lessons or something you can sit there and watch it I love that. Yeah, so go uh, download it right now, coaches. Yeah. It's free, and it's it truly is, pun intended, a game changer. changer. Give that a URL one more time, coach. It's gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops, all one word. gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. All right, what's the, uh, what's the topic today? We're going to talk about confidence. This has come up quite a bit on our Facebook page group in one form or fashion the biggest thing is that one of the more controversial topics is do you pull kids for making mistakes in a game and if you do at what age might that start and how do you handle that situation right so and what's a mistake <laughs> right so. i don't yeah i don't tend to do that at the younger ages i don't even really tend to do it at my level however in the last couple of years post covid our mm -hmm. turnover rate's been too high so i basically mm. told them you make a turnover you're coming out um which has kind of helped like it's more of a trigger than anything else is like don't turn the mm. ball over i'm taking you out um but i don't I, I as a former player i i never really loved that <laughs> i don't think i yeah. learned anything by it that's the issue it's the teacher in me I'm not sure I'm well, I think learning. back in our day, right? That's what we do. Oh, it was all I the had time. a coach that was that was his thing. I was an assistant coach. I mean, I'm sorry, it was the JV coach. And, you know, he said one of our things if they make a mistake, you pull them out. I didn't agree with it, but that's what he wanted. So, you know, what a lot of times what I did though was I would pull them out, have a conversation. This is high school, so it's different, right? We'll we'll get to grade school. Uh pull them out, have a conversation and put them back in right away. Sometimes that reset helps as well. Like it's, 
you know, you make a couple mistakes in a row. You just, you know, sometimes you do, you need to reset. We all do, right? So I, right. I found different ways to do that in game now. And I teach the kids that even at the grade school level. But I don't know. I agree with you. At the grade school level, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to make mistakes every time they touch the ball or they're on the court. That's just expected. They're learning. Well, I just in 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 my other membership, I just did a course on mistake response, mm. and I did this with my mm. team too because it, it was great, and it was um, and I did a lecture with my guys for about thirty minutes on it. But it's more about um, the the game of basketball is a game riddled game. Yeah, like yeah. I told the boys, I said I've never seen a perfect basketball game ever. Yeah. Like you're never going to see a perfect basketball game. Right. There's always I've never seen a box score with zero zero turnovers. Yeah. And that's not those are just obvious mistakes. There's other mistakes. I didn't get to the help line, midline or helpline or whatever. Right. There's other mistakes. But the obvious ones, <laughs> I've never seen one. I've never seen a zero zero box score. Like yeah. no turnovers in the entire game. So there's gonna be a mistake or mistakes, and it's a very fast paced game. So I said the great ones come up with the mistake response before it happens. Like, how are you going to handle yeah. the turnover? And then one of my players had a turnover and then went down and took a charge. So I showed him that. Mm -hmm. And I found a couple clips on the internet. I said, this is a good mistake response. You yeah. want your energy to go up rather than down. So again, I think it's a, it's a, um, it's a very good and teachable moment. Um, to like if your mistake response is bad then maybe i have to pull you you know if you're walking yeah, down the yeah, court yeah, or yeah, your yeah, shoulders yeah, go down yeah. but maybe i don't have to pull you so i think it's the conversation you can have with the player um that makes it more constructive and more educational in my opinion um what about uh well, let's talk about very specific. And that's going, I don't situation. know. I don't know how that reads into our initial thing with confidence, but I think it does. Well, it's, it's confident. Building. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it, what happens, and I had this conversation with my team, is, well, two conversations that I want to talk about. So kind of this confidence in the idea of making a mistake is they said they get obviously more, they're more nervous and they play a little tighter if they know they're going to get pulled for making a mistake, Right. Uh, versus just free flow, let the game go. They're going to do they, We know they're going to make mistakes. And I talk about this with them all the time. You're going to make a mistake. I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to miss the timeout that I should have taken. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to make a wrong read and tell you to do X, right? And, um, and it was the wrong read at the wrong time. I said, we're all going to make mistakes. But the biggest thing is how, like you said, mistake response. How do we respond to our mistakes? Do we we just missed a wide open layup? Do we, you know, you, you know, you're you're head down, running back the other way, arms long, you know that that stance, or do you like okay, I don't want to do that again. I didn't do it on purpose, right? We all know they don't do it. On, they don't want to miss a wide open layup, right? Uh, it, but it's all how you respond. Get your butt back on defense and play play hard. Um, right. Hey, before, thing, before we go any farther, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor coach. Who yeah. Is? Game changer, um, game changer, go to gamechanger.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. Uh, actually, and if you want to take, if you want to understand the mistakes that you talked about, uh, there you go. turnovers and things like that. Right. I mean, uh, you know, Video. keep track of those things is in our head. It's a lot different than yes. actuality, right? Um, yeah. Oh, we only made, you know, we only had five turn turnovers felt like it was 50, right? Right. Well, with Game Changer, you can keep track of, keep track of the stats. I think a I direct there, quote for me, a direct yeah. quote for me last night is film don't lie, guys. Film don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> film don't lie, like, right? It doesn't lie at all. So, That's okay. Right. So go ahead. Yeah, I Rob coach it's free. And point. yeah, no, no. And Game Changer is free. So coaches go download that. It's great for keeping track of stats, filming games, uh, filming games live. So if parents not available, they can see um, their their uh, their player uh, on the court um, and they can see the stats live as well. So game go to GC.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. It's how we keep these podcasts free for yes. you. 
Yes. Okay. And GC is free. So, um, but going back to um, you were on a idea second of, point when I rudely interrupted. Yeah. Go ahead. But oh yeah, no, no. The, the you know I gotta, we, take, the, I gotta take my wife to Chipotle, so I had her interrupt you. You know. Yeah. No. 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 You're good. You're good. <laughs> um, the um, I asked the guy. It was we were just doing in in game scrimmage, or I mean a, a, a practice a scrimmage in practice. Sorry, and. I was getting a little frustrated and I stopped the scrimmage and I said, is there a rule in basketball that says you, as soon as you get the ball, you have to dribble it. And they looked at me and they're like, no. And I'm like, then why are we all dribbling right away? As soon as we get the ball and going, sometimes we go someplace. Most of the times we're not going anywhere. Right. And they stopped and thought about that. And I said, they said, yeah, there's no rule. And, and I said, well, why do you do that? Because I really wanted to understand. They said, because we get nervous. And right. I thought, oh, okay. They get nervous. They get nervous because the defense is on them. They get nervous because they feel like they have to do something. Um, you know, they get nervous, you know, maybe because of me. Um, they, you know, there's lots of reasons why the kids get nervous, right? And we have to, as coaches, we have to recognize this. And this goes back to the root of this, which is giving them confidence. Like, okay, like they need to know what to do when they get the ball in their hands right. and the different situations. This is a whole nother discussion, right? The different situations of, well, what's the read? Sometimes it's okay to dribble because you're wide open, you're one-on-one -on -one and you have to go, right? You do a stampede and go to the basket. Right. Other times it's like, oh, wait for the play to develop. Right. Wait for the screen to be set before you put the ball to the ground. Right. All those different situations. But more playing time gives them confidence. More practice time gives them confidence on the court. Um, but explaining what, what you want, explaining what you want. Yeah. So, like, a kid makes a mistake. Now, it's different when they make a mistake and they put their hand on the stove, they're going to get burned and they're going to learn not to do it. However, right. if they turn, so, and and the old school of yelling at them does not work. No, <laughs> the Bobby yeah. Knight era is over. Sorry, yeah, that's right. Bobby. Yeah. Um. So how can you constructively? So again, this is where game changer comes into play. But this is where film comes into play. That's right. In the sense that it's a great lesson. Practice is a great lesson, teacher. Like, mm -hmm. hey, no, maybe you need to bounce past that in rather than you know. And then we talk about. Where do we want to hold the ball and breaking windows and all those kind of mm -hmm. things. Um, but then, you know, I think you have to think about not only their mistake response, but your mistake response. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to you before we came on the air about my mistake response early in the year, <laughs> earlier in the week, and it was not a great mistake response. And they knew it. I told them it was not a great, but it was one yeah. I was, and here's the reasoning behind that mistake response. Here is my thought behind it. I didn't do it. And I was trying to do something to get you motivated and it didn't work. Um, so I think those things are kind of the, that those levels of like, what is, and that will build confidence. If, if you give them a solution, they will know, like, you know what I'm saying? That builds that yeah. confidence. Like, here's why I turned it over. Here's how I can make it better next time with my next quote unquote test kind of thing um well and to that point i mean the, and they do know i had a player say this to me the other day and i was like either i guess you've been listening to me and i appreciate that but um you know they said we were talking about um doing well oh it was a camp i did i just did and we were talking about um drills uh, uh and teach oh we were te I, I was teaching the um <laughs> a proper uh um uh, I don't know what we were teaching. It doesn't matter. But one of the players said, that she goes, the most important thing is to understand the why behind why you're doing the drill. I'm like, amen. That's it right there. It's like, why right. are we doing this particular thing? And if you explain, start it, don't just tell the kids, explain why. And I think that's really important. No, I agree. I agree. All right. Anything else, coach? Uh, no, other than, hey, coaches, go to Game Changer. 
uh, download the free uh, free app. Um, it's at gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.